<clears throat> Hello, and welcome to this stream. Tonight I am playing Sergei Isayenka in the first round of the uh, playoffs of ITSL. Um, and, uh, yeah, what can I say? He is the highest ranked player. He has chosen to play the US, which I think is a good choice by him because I am uh, notoriously weaker as the Soviets, and so he will get to play twice the US if we have to play all three games. As you can see, my playdeck rating has plummeted to the lowest levels in a long time. I've had a bad losing streak, which made me stop playing for a while, so I haven't actually played much in the last few weeks. I think any any games in this uh, in this uh, these playoffs will be a challenge for me, and this one as well definitely. Um, all right, let's see. We've got Red Scare. Do I want to do a coup? We've also got to call. I've got defectors. Hmm. I think I might do that and then headline the goal. And he's online. Yeah, so... Playing into Poland here might make him think that Europe is safe, and then you can head I can headline the goal, because I've got defectors. And then I can use Red Scare for a coup in Italy. Um, which could, um, hopefully get, get, get me France or Italy, um, and possibly both. No, not, not, not both. Not likely. We'll see if we play all games tonight. Hopefully we can play the second game at least, because then if the same person wins we don't have to play again. Right, he's going for a, some sort of martial... no? Standard setup there, okay. Um, I think I'll go with my plan regardless. Yes, I think I will. <clears throat> Right, not great. Um, not great at all. What did I roll? Three, yeah. So 
so it's four plus. But uh, I mean, yeah. Yeah, that's not going to work now, is it? So if that roll was 4+, plus, then this probably was a pretty bad plan. Because I'm wasting a card as well. I'm wasting a to goal. Um, Because I feel like I don't have the ops to fight over France now. I think if he had Middle East, he would have headlined it rather than CNS. So I'm going to gamble that he doesn't have it. Um, I've thought about using Arab Israeli to just roll and see if I can get, like, um, I can get Israel, but... He's going to coo now, isn't he? Afghanistan instead. Wow. Okay. I'd like to hold defectors. If I can. This is something that I've never really figured out, like, what to do as the Soviets in case the Americans go into Afghanistan like this. 
Because you have to, you can't just let them coup and then take Pakistan. But if you go into Afghanistan, they will coup Afghanistan, probably, like he did now. But that's, I feel like that's kind of a waste of an American action round as well. <clears throat> Spacing decal. Let's uh, use up Truman. And then I have to protect some places. I don't know, if he goes here, then... If he spends this round cooing, then I'm kind of okay with that, I think. And if he doesn't, like, um... He doesn't coup, Defcon will go back up to five, which gives me some options. He does coup in Iran. Iraq, okay. Eight Templars in Poland. It's pretty good. Right, so two scoring cards. Hmm. I... Europe is not going to improve, so I might as well headline that. I've got a better headline anyway. Nuclear test ban... Give me two VPs, but it's also my only really good card. Mm, yeah, let's get rid of it. It's not the best board state ever. He is likely to get ahead in Asia, I think. But at least now I'll be able to I'll be able to coup Iran, and then he can choose whether he wants to walk into Pakistan. But he has to get presence in the Middle East. If I if my coup is successful, then he has to get presence in the Middle East as well. All right. So I'm going to go all in with this coup. Okay. So now if he walks into Egypt, let's say, or if he coups and is successful in Iran, then at least I can walk into Pakistan. But if he has a four-up, which he's quite likely to have, he could walk Pakistan and Egypt. 
then I could coup Egypt again. Or rather, as well. So he spaced decal last turn out of his hand, which I suspect means that he's holding D style as well. Goes for Israel, does not go for Pakistan. So If I go Pakistan now, he could have the war. It also would let him kill Iran and get away with it. <clears throat> that might jeopardize Middle East Dom. But I think I need Pakistan more than... I could play Duck. But three more points at this stage is not great. Especially if he has the war and he, he wins the war as well. I feel like I kind of have to... I mean, I could also play Duck with uh, UN, but I, I want to hold on to defectors. Ideally, I want to space UN. Uh, sorry, space Duck. But then I don't really have any ops. Containment is the last round. Could play China. China into Pakistan and South Korea would be fairly good. Then I suspect he will just break it. But if he does that, then I could maybe score the Middle East. I mean, it's not great considering that we haven't seen CIA yet. I could get a really bad redraw. I think it's worth the risk, probably. I mean, he definitely has to coup now, right? Or he doesn't care if he has the war, but I think also killing Iran makes a lot of sense. Okay, with a one-up. Ah, oh, just like that. Alright, yeah, that's the domination. <clears throat> and there goes D-Style, but it's coming back at least, so that's nice. Um, okay, that means Defcon is still at... Uh, I'd really like two ops here. I think I'm going to do that. So I think if he had the war, he would have preferred... I don't know. Now you would just walk into Egypt, right? But then I get to coup again. No, so maybe not. Spaces. Okay. Hmm. Suppose I could space too.
it's an empty round, probably. Yeah, not a great hand for him. Can I fill up time up? Well, actually, not too bad. He had two four ops. Yeah, so. I get this. Yeah, that didn't turn out so bad, after all. Now it's my six, and I have to overprotect places, I have to walk into India, maybe like that. Now he kind of has to, like, he has to coup as well, right? Probably. So, <clears throat> yeah, fairly problematic hand for him. All right, there we go. No milops. All right, so he is holding IP war. Ooh, any other four ops? What have we not seen yet? We've seen all the red threes. We saw D style on D call. It's holding CIA as well. That's lovely. Olympic Games. Uh, Vietnam. He knows about defectors, UN, special, independent reds, Formosa, and Asia scoring. So I should know it. I should know one more card from him, possibly. Um, but I did play the China card too. All right, what's the headline here? Suez. Does limit my ops, but and it's also one he doesn't know about. Suez is actually not too bad. I can five year plan Asia if I want to. Yeah, it's a, well the other day other is defectors if I want to avoid the VP. It does give me a shot at Europe. Maybe I'll take one out of Israel. Please fail. It doesn't really give me a shot at Europe because I don't have the ops to back it up. Ah, oh, come on. It's always supposed to fail. 
Oh, well, I mean, I need to take India anyway, I guess, because... For the future, even if I'm five-year planning it this, this time. And he gets to take back France. Yeah, that was a bit of a waste. Especially considering that I didn't really have any ops to back it up with. I should have not done that, I don't think. He doesn't know that, though. He doesn't know if I have a 4-op. He knows most of my hand. So if he has to do that... Yeah. And then I get to coup. And I think for Mosin is actually my space card here. Because, well... No, not really. He's got the China card. I can probably plan Asia. For Mosin is fine for now, at least. Hmm... I think it's worth going for the coup here. Oh. But then I'll do... Yeah, alright. So I can you and something. Might as well be that. Defectors goes to space. Independent reds I'm fine with. Oh, no, 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 I can't. Because then I can't, uh, I can't use five-year plan. So that's not happening. Um, let's just play it then. Too bad. Now if I were him, I would definitely play into Taiwan. So then he will waste a turn doing that. <laughs> exactly as I had foreseen. Right, let's space then. Uh, or do I want to overprotect maybe South Korea? He's not going to go into South Korea, I don't think. Nah. Let's space. It's important. Yes. Great. He redrew Marshall and East European. And now he's holding CIA and Olympics and two other cards. Yeah, that's too bad. I should have done that. Sorry. That is my bad. My bad. Definitely a mistake. Oh, well, it helped against the Korean War as well, so not a complete waste. Hmm, what to do now? Hmm. Too bad.
Yeah, I managed to escape Asia there, but the board state is not looking good. He can easily even out the Middle East with almost no effort. He's holding CIA. And uh, then he will hold on to Europe, most likely. All right, decal. Nice. I could start with that, actually. Yeah. And then Fidel. Oh, quick is not nothing. Three points. Can coup Algeria. And then I can hold on to Chef for a bit and see if he starts walking into small countries in Africa. Half bets might be with the space card. Oh, okay. He hasn't got any great targets, though. Iran. Hmm, nice. A bad roll. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to go back in there. Um, probably there. And maybe South Africa. Or I could break his Algeria. I mean, if I have to coup, I should cause a problem somewhere. I feel like I do have to coup. Oh, all right. Nice counter. Mm. Don't want to play Norad. Um, I guess chair is like... I have to play, go there, there, and Iran. Yeah. I need a three up. Mm-hmm. I think I want to overprotect these first. I can play OPEC later. Let's move into Malaysia. I wonder if that means he's got a score in here. Yeah, I, I smell... I smell Southeast Asia. It's 
It's lovely to be able to play John Paul without any consideration at all. Like, just... I'm still 1-6 after it. Yep. Alright, so uh, let's... Ooh. Let's space then, shall we? I'm not sure I want to succeed with this, though. I did. Well, okay. I mean, I often feel like you can space aggressively as the Soviets, as long as you get headline pick, you're fine. But now we're in a situation where he could easily just space as well, and then I am in deep, deep trouble. So we haven't seen boys, grains, or anything. I don't have the China card, so... I might have some really, really horrible turns ahead. All right, it's a good thing I okay. Good thing I didn't play NORAD. And then let's get some points. So both puppets and D style is gone. So it's going to be down to who gets Junta, or if he gets one of his Axis cards before that. Alright, so he finally played CIA, he's holding something else. That, I think, was a bit of a waste. I'm sure you could have done something better with that. Not a not a bad hand. Not a bad hand at all. Muslim, I think we're not going to really use, so that's going to go for ops. We will very would get me points, because UN has been played. Um, I think Junter is... So I can't space this, so this is definitely the hold card. And he, has, he gets voice, so he's headlining that. Um, he's going to take away stuff from these, probably. Ooh, I could space duck. Grains is the whole card, that means I have to play Norad, which isn't nice. We just saw Quag, so Norad could definitely be a problem. Hmm. Yeah, I think Junter is is always a good headline. And if I then don't want to coup, then I don't have to have to coup. And voice happens first, so Yeah, so it was definitely bad getting to the fourth space step, but at the same time, I cannot, like, I can't trigger, um, I can't trigger puppets in order to avoid that, and I don't want to play Norad, so, playing Norad would actually have made more sense. Alright, so, now, it makes sense to coup Mexico, because I need to fill... Middle East back up, because I think he's got the scoring. Wow! Nice roll. Okay. Great. And so we're not going to use that. Actually, let's hold on to it so he can't five year. Uh, can't uh, missile envy. Not that I think he would do that in the middle of the turn, but still. I think early space. Space is important, because we haven't seen one small step yet. So I think you would just dump Middle East now. If you have it. Or you can hold on to it. It's, it's not, no rush. Ooh, 
That is unfortunate. Ooh, that is very fortunate. Not bad. Not bad at all. So, do I spread out of Venezuela now? I feel like I kind of have to. Uh, run the risk of him having one small step. But if he starts realigning, that could, could be bad. Um, and I think I need... I want to play this as late as possible. Uh, so let's use this now. Sorry, uh, that thing I said about <laughs> Mr. Landry before is obviously complete bollocks. Um, I was... Uh, Um, okay. Right, um, now let's space. Yes, great. Ah, uh, brilliant. And I can coup as well. So I think Norad AR6 and subs AR7. All right, so he did have the Middle East. Cool. Um... Actually, I've already got a coup target. Let's keep Billy Brandt in the deck, shall we? Hmm. Right, so then I don't strictly have to use South African, although it is pretty good. As for the event, I mean. Get another influence out of it, so... I would like to use it if I can. That means I have to play Norad now. Alright, let's do that then. I do not like playing Norad here. It will definitely come back and haunt me. If I get souls, I might salt for Quag. Ooh, so that for... Yeah, he's already got Egypt. Hmm, alright. That's not what I would have done, I don't think. Then I can space with nucleus uh coup with nucleus subs in Costa Rica if he doesn't give me a better target. It's 
they speaking Portuguese? Alright, he probably just wants to catch up in space. Here's a free coup for you. Brazil, Angola. Okay. All right. So, Isuri goes to space. That's nice. Did we see cultural? No, of course not. All right, so he does that. I wonder if I should... Salt for... Because then he has to... Like, he has to set this first. That sort of takes away his... The use of it. Kind of a bit. Yeah, I might salt for Quag, just to get rid of Norad. The D style is nice too, but I am in South America already, so. And I've got Allende. Yeah, I think Quag makes sense here. Oh no, no, so yeah, he can still, he can still reduce Defcon. Uh, we'll see what he wants to do. He probably will. I mean, he hasn't even walked into Canada yet, or taken control. Um, he might not do it. Sometimes you feel like you, you want to do it, and then you don't have time uh, or momentum to do it. But um, I think he will. Not now, but he would have. Right, DEFCON 2. Makes sense. Mm, no coup in... Africa, but I could go. Let's um, let's go central. And then we have to space. Yeah. Scoring central came at a cost, no doubt. I have to play Lone Gunman anyway. Let's try a coup. Let's try another coup. Ugh. I feel like I deserved a better roll there, or a better result. I think we'll just counter coup again. And then I don't really have any ops. Please fizzle. Yes, no, it doesn't work. Um, what is this for? Yeah. Mm. Let's space while we have some momentum. Oh, great. Absolutely great. Absolutely great. Well, he 
can catch up. But that also means he missed a point there. Oh, sorry, he, he did get a point. Um, mm, mm, mm. can I? So I'm gonna have to play. Oh, oh no, sorry. I no, I don't have to. How can I? Oh, I, I salted. I can hold two cards. Great. Well, I can actually hold on to grain sails. That dangerous. Get rid of OAS. We'll see if he spaces. I might not be able to get rid of either of them. Um, I suppose I could play Quag and hope that he... But then I have to play Allende. That makes no sense. Should I just dump Africa? I have to play Quag for the event. I have to. And then if he gets stuck... He probably won't. But he might have to discard a red card before turn seven. I mean, it's an AR7 thing, isn't it? But then I have to dump Africa. I'm going to have to play OAS either way. No, I do not. <laughs> But I, I, I need to event Allende, right? I do. Let's dump Africa. I don't think it will improve. Oh, because of uh, salt. The, that's why the coups were so bad. Still with um, salt, with a three up, I should have gotten a better result. All right, big ops. Yeah, I thought you might. He doesn't space, and he won't. I mean, he has to space now if he wants to space. Then I might actually hold on to... Oh. I want to hold on to grains, because it's AR7, and it would be so nice to know that it's gone forever. But it's also a bit risky, because I might never get rid of it. I think it's better to discard it. Kennedy for influence, right. and here's your quag, that's promised. Ooh, you had to play a scoring card. Surely that's a Bad planning on his part after he... But he couldn't play before he had taken Brazil, so... Yeah. Right, so he's in... He's in the quag, and I get a very good hand. Amazing. And... There is a risk of defectors, but... I would love to purge him, scare him. Right now. Ooh, alright. Um, what can you have? You could have... Nuclear gives him a point, but it lets me coup several times. While he is in the trap. At least once, down to four. And then he... 
place on Quag, and then I queue again down to three, and then he gets a coup. So it's um it's a double edged. But he might stay in the trap. Oh, I've got an opportunity here to... Mm, no, not really. I mean, I want to coup something important like Italy or Pakistan, but not with Missile IV. Hmm, I should have. Ooh, he fails. All right. But cultural is never coming back. That is too bad. All right, now I think we're going to give up on Europe and we're going to use Marshall to coup Pakistan. Yes. Oh! That is depressing. And he's out. Alright, so I get my last coup, and I feel like I have to use it in Africa. Because he can realign Nigeria. Barely. So he managed to get out of the trap without any particularly particular difficulties, even though he had to spend a neutral card. Okay, cool. Um, let's do... I don't strictly need liberation right now. Bear Trap goes to space, but Shuttle is very bad right now. Very bad indeed. So I guess I hold shuttle, and I can discard it if he doesn't catch up on space, and I have to play OAS. Um, I need to hold on to my African, but I also would really, really like to... Oh, I, I kind of, I have to play OPIC for ops, it's four ops. Ooh, hang on. I also need to coup Colombia, and he has to do a counter coup. No, I, I don't have to care about Nigeria, but I have to care about Zaire. So I'll do. This. I'll overprotect that, and then I'll go into Argentina. I don't know if that makes any sense. 
OES is still going to be very, very problematic. I feel like I don't have time to play OPEC. But it's four VPs. And now I really need them. Um, let's space now. Alright. I, yeah, that's, that's nice with VPs, but now I can't space duck. I can't space five-year plan. So, yeah, I am in trouble. If I, I can't space tear down, I can definitely die a DEFCON death here. Should I have played Bear Trap there? Maybe I should have. Um, yeah, maybe I should have. Alright, let's play Opic before he steals Venezuela from me. Now, um, South America could quickly go pretty bad here. Hmm, central. Okay. Yeah, not the worst uh, omit ever, but still pretty bad. Let's trigger you. Even though I really don't want to. Okay, well, that, at least that gives me a shot at this. Might get to hold on to Venezuela. And he ideally wants to coup again. So then he can't take Argentina. Yeah, I was worried about that. But he did just discard. So that, that trap didn't hurt him too bad. He played mostly events anyway. It cost him effectively one op. Okay, no CAE and greens. So, is that GG? No, it's not. I can. Unless if he, um, as long as he doesn't lower DEFCON in the headline, I might be okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pershing, no, I think I want the ops from this. Doesn't do anything really. Willebrandt is a VP. Let's use it. Fuck. All right, that's GG. That is GG. I, I, I guess I was. I mean, it's my fault for spacing so much. I guess last turn I should probably have just played Bear Trap and discarded. Just hope that it. It didn't go horribly wrong. Um, yeah. Mm, and since... Yeah, there is no chance for me to get out of this, right? Uh, I mean, unless he, he raises DEFCON somehow, but I don't see how and why he would do that. Uh, but let's keep playing for as long as possible in any case. Alliance is actually not too bad here.
Yeah, no, I mean, um, yeah, I should have uh, should have played Bear Trap last turn, I think. Instead of spacing. I don't... Mm. Yeah, I think that was the main problem. It wasn't that... Then again, I still needed a 3-op, so it wouldn't have helped. Um, aggressive spacing with the Soviets. I, I don't feel like I spaced aggressively. I just spaced when I had cards I didn't want to play, and I rolled fairly well, so could have easily failed. I never really spaced for the sake of spacing. Uh. Africa scoring. Now we'll play it. Um...
It's too bad. I mean, the board state is not looking... not looking terrible. Should I play the China card early on? I mean, that's... that's... that was too early to... Um... Alright, let's GG. Um... <laughs> Too bad. Too bad. Yeah. <clears throat> I feel like I played okay. It was, uh, it could have, uh, could have worked. <laughs> Could have worked. Um, regardless, that that I think it was mistakes to space bear trap. Um, even without um, uh, even. Uh, because I could have drawn uh, Ted out, or, or, or Duck, or something. Um, but apart from that, I mean, with this particular draw, I couldn't really... couldn't really do anything about it. And headlining CIA or Grains wouldn't have helped either, so... I just had to hope that he didn't have uh, a DEFCON card in his... Uh, uh, in his hand, or a coat card, or something like that, or that he had played the China card at some point. I mean, I actually did have the discard, so I could have, um, I could have, uh, survived this situation if I'd only gotten one left on card per turn as well, if he'd never caught up. So it's, uh, there were, there were plenty of ways it could have worked. But the wrong cards came out at the wrong time in this particular situation. So, um, right. Right, so the next game will uh, start in 10 minutes. Uh, I'm just going to take a quick break before that. So I'll, I'll turn off the sound. I'll leave the stream up.
Right, um, game number two between me and Sergei Isayenka. And it's best of three, so if I want to uh, stay in the playoffs, I have to win this. Um, I am now the US, which is a side I'm slightly more comfortable with. Um, not the best starting hand ever, but I do get both defectors and Middle East scoring. Uh, I also get CIA, not great. I get blockade. Yeah. Yeah. Defectors would be nice if I didn't have the Middle East. Fidel would be nice if I also didn't have CIA. Um. Hmm. <clears throat> Let's see if I can, uh, probably also need to win this in order to keep my rating above 1600, which is, uh, slightly embarrassing. Alright, here we go. I tend to go for the Middle East pretty much regardless of of what I have as a headline. Four points is a lot, and if you don't headline it, it might become a problem, and he might not have a great headline. But now he did. So Asia is going to be red, probably. Perfect combo. But I get a point. Ooh, strong coup as well. And then I have to try and get back in there in order to get into Asia. Which means I have to help him with his... Uh, Oh, it's D-style business, or D-call, or whatever he's got. Absolutely awful. Um, Did I play too quickly there? Should I have done something else? Still a 4-op to Kua. To, I mean, I should have gotten one influence at least. He would have taken Pakistan first anyway, but yeah. Maybe I was a bit too quick there. Um, I could have walked to Malaysia. Done a number of things. Mm. What am I spacing? I don't think I have time to space now. I need to spread out. I don't know. Is that any good? Do I want to space Fidel? Or do I want to trigger it? Probably want to space it since I've got CIA anyway. But if I... Yeah. If I want to play Arab Israeli, then I kind of have to go... I mean, I want to threaten Thailand, I want to 
going to Jordan, but then he'll just block off Iraq anyway. It doesn't really make much sense. I want to take South Korea before he does, but I don't think I can. Um, maybe I just have to play everything here. Actually, let's go here, because if he has NASA, then he might play it. Which isn't good. Um, actually, yeah, probably should have put two there, right? Also, Middle East has been scored, but I, I need to, I need to stay there. To make sure I stay there. Alright, so spaces. Damn it. I could space later if I want to. Let's try this. Alright. It helped. Okay, um, hmm. Asia is going to be very, very red, like right now, but I also don't want to give him a South, make Southeast Asia too strong for him. Um, well, I should probably grab France before he gets Europe, I should go into Angola uh, before Deast. Decol. Like I have to do that at least. If I do this now, then I, I commit to play CIA into, into Zaya. Let's. Let's get Europe done, rather than some fresh coup targets for him in Africa. But 
But now he's got worry-free headlines. Ooh, all right, next drop. Yeah, I was never going to be able to take South Korea anyway. That means I can do that. And what else? Actually, overprotect France is probably the best idea. Okay, so he, I got decal, and he, got, I also got Asia, so I'm gonna have to dump that probably. Won't really be able to fight him for it. Won't really be able to get any more mm, battlegrounds either. Could dump it. Could also headline Red Scare Purge. Which I think is probably... So now, the only thing that can affect France is Suez. And it's not so bad. So I think... Probably Purge. But he should want to go Panama. Then I can take Libya. Oh, nice. Okay, let's use this. And then I am at least in the Middle East. For now. Alright, let's dump Asia. It's not getting better. But it might get worse. If he has D-style, I think he will play it now. Probably, probably does not. And so here I want to hold on to... Yeah, let's go... I want to hold on to decal, so I will trigger the call. After I've done that. Hmm, okay, that means... I, I mean, I could also space the goal, but I think it's better to trigger it when you can. He's not likely to be able to break. Europe Dom anyway. I mean, of course, with Suez he could.
comes Europe. Too bad, too bad. Good hand. So, what is he holding? What do I want to headline here? Nothing, really. <laughs> I mean, I could... Oh, no. It's useless. East European? East European is the only thing that has a remotely, like, remotely good effect. Nord as well, but that's kind of a gamble. I guess East European, like, for, for future um, Europe control and things like that. Or Nord, because I don't really have anything else. The East European will at least help make the Pope a problem, perhaps. And I don't lose a card. Alright, so he probably doesn't have that many headlines. I knew about Cambridge 5, did I? No, I did not. Uh, he's holding D star. And CNS. I've got IP war, we saw Korea. Uh, we have seen the four ops. Yes, we have. Uh, we have seen Warsaw Pact. Da, da, da. He's holding. Oh, I got Suez. Uh, yep, yep. Socialists. Um, blue threes. He's holding. And I think I've seen Pact Five Year Plan. Norad. Got Norad. We saw containment. Not a lot of high cards left. I should think. Uh, he's got Truman. Um, Formosan Resolution. Yep. He knows about Decol, IP, Suez, and that's it. So I probably don't own more than four cards from him. Cambridge was unknown. Anything else? Don't think so. Right, so he's played that. Got a coup in Angola. Uh, and then I have to go
decal goes to space, so as I can play. Spain, Portugal. Yeah, that's too bad. Should have thought of that. If he happened to redraw Europe. Because if he didn't, then I'm not sure if... Yeah, no, you probably want to... Play Marshall there. He might not have that many ops for D-style anyway. He might want to... I don't know. <clears throat> I'm surprised he hasn't... Play D style yet. Right, so I'll even intervene, Suez, I think, because it's not such a, such a big threat anyway. I would like to have the ops. Spacing is not a priority right now. Might be able to. Um, do a realign here. So all right, not bad. Yeah, okay, so it's not gonna work. Let's start. let's try this. Wow, nice. All right. That was all right, considering D-style. I mean, if, when you end up with this, it's it's not too bad. Ah, I got Asia again. It's a lot of points. Hmm. All right, so he's gonna. Um, I have to play in the Pakistani war anyway. No, I can't do UN. Yeah, mm, I could. Then I have to space. I think I will. Alright, that kind of makes me want to space again. Because otherwise he can one small step me. I suppose holding on to... Alright, now I don't have to. Of course not. Now he's holding Truman and one more card. I need to... And now this doesn't really matter that much. I need to play this for Ops. Ooh, two VPs. Very, very useful.
feel like I have to do that. If, if, oh, ooh. <laughs> All right, so he's going to definitely score. He's going to definitely coup into Africa if he gets a chance. So I could headline Africa and hope he doesn't get... Because I draw Portuguese. Um, if he has South African unrest, that's pretty much the only thing that can get him into Africa in the headline. Or a, I don't know, like ABM treaty or whatever. But if he gets that, then he will break... He will either... He will have to break control or... Or domination. I will. I will get one of them... 11 points is very juicy. It's basically like um, South African unrest, in which case I still get Dong. Um, ABM treaty, in which case I still get uh, Dom. Um, and it's a strong Dom as well. Uh, that's pretty much it. Right? That's also an option. But then it would have been difficult regardless. Still a pretty strong dog. And he could fizzle. It does not. But it's six points. It's more than I could have hoped for. Uh, initially. Normally, if Africa scoring comes out in turn four, it's not six points for the US. And now he knows about Southeast Asia, so I have to... I mean... Okay. With three ops, I could take this and he takes Burma and he gets two points. What does he have right now? Three. Hmm. It's better than nothing. And it's for future country count as well. I guess my other option would have been to to headline nuclear subs. But I don't know if that would have solved the problem. He could just have held on to... I could have... Yeah, I would have could. Oh, he did have it. All right. Interesting. Okay. Oh, I mean, it's still... It's still Africa Dom, and we just scored it as well. I mean, it does make sense. It's better than to play it for the Ops, but it's not a big deal. So now I've got Brush. And what can I do with Brush? I can try and get into South America, which is probably what I should do. But first, let's get rid of this. Um, actually, I should maybe hold on to brush. No, well, I mean, I do kind of... I, I need to play it in South America anyway. I was thinking if, if he walks into Pakistan or whatever, but it's not really priority right now. South America is. Mm. 
Hmm. Okay. Well, I need the Milops. Well, I don't need the Milops, strictly speaking. Why is he going for Africa? Just scored. Okay. Well, I guess I might as well try with a coup. Might as well be this. This is my, oh, this is my space card. Actually, Muslim isn't so bad. I'd like to stay in Egypt, but I don't have to. that stop him from killing? I'm pretty sure he doesn't have South America. Feels like we're not doing anything this round. Now I have to go, like, if he had it, that would be absolutely horrible. Surely he wouldn't have spent all this doing all this other stuff if he had South America. He would have walked into Uruguay and tried to get control. But I mean, I need to play Brush War anyway, so I guess now is, uh, it's not as good a time as any because I have to fill up um and Romania stops my Europe Dom. Pretty sure he doesn't have Europe Dom. Alright, let's uh let's trigger Oh no hang on, he can he can uh Ah uh, he will remove my access to Libya. <clears throat> but now if he walks into Uruguay, then I can't use Brush War. Fuck. Uh. Okay. So he doesn't have the ops for... I mean, this is less, fewer points than I lose if I play Romanian. Yeah. So let's just space this then. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Ah. But my canal is remotely good here. Um, the Pope. 
or this to block coups. If I play Panama Canal, he has to coup. He doesn't have to coup Venezuela because he can just realign it later on. Uh. Will John Paul give me the coup? Possibly not. I mean, Red Scare is always good as well. We've got a lot of bad blue cards waiting to come out that he will want to space. But now he can't. So, yeah, I think that makes the most sense. Ah, oh, but I'm really losing the board state now. All right, I can still take it. And then he's got South America control. Um, this is an opportunity for, um, if I don't coup anywhere. It's an opportunity for uh, AR7 how I learned. Um, I should just walk back into Panama, shouldn't I? <sighs> or I could play how I learned followed by arms race. I guess Panama makes sense to stop his control for at least one turn. Doesn't really make much difference. spacing any of this maybe I mean, this kind of defeats the purpose of the Pope, but I feel like I have to trigger it. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's probably GG. What else could he have that gives him points? OPEC is four right now. So that means I don't really want to play this. That kind of makes me feel like I want to play... Arms race, 
before the end of the turn and set up the power land. Because that's three points as well, but it's it's uh, he he can uh, he can defend against uh, the how I learned thing by cooing, so arms race is is easier. But I waste more ops. Hmm. Okay. Well, it was a good guess. You get a point, and I can't do this. So then I feel like, because it's OPEC, that is my biggest threat right now. Or Middle East scoring, which they both help with that. Or it helps with both of those. I also don't really want to play Vili Brandt. Come on. Hmm, I think I would have gone for Panama or Mexico there. And I'm out, probably. Ooh, nice. It's pretty good. Own it. Um, Villa Brandt. Brandt is not happening. Uh, Romanian breaks that, but then I can fill up Belgium. It will fill up Bulgaria, right? Yeah. Uh, so now I can do a number of things. I can, I could take Dom in central. It's only two points. I could break. It's not going to break Dom, but I can th could threaten Pakistan. It's good for the future. It's not good right now. Um, or I could break one of these to get my Dom back. That's five points. Uh, which could be pretty useful. I would hate for him to dump. Europe in AR1. Okay, so I need points. And I wouldn't mind the coup here. Um, I can get points if I steal the China card and play Nixon. 
Sadat is also a good headline. Voice is quite good, but it's not like... I, I might want to see his coup before I do that. To remove him from one of these. I think Sadat might be good just to stop him from headlining Middle East. Liberation goes to space. Chat is actually okay. Oh, man. Well, at least I've got enough fuel. But this could uh, could be a Europe scoring coming. All right, so play that first. Um, uh, liberation, I guess. Oh, <laughs> I did not need that. So it's probably, he's probably got the Middle East then, because otherwise he would definitely coup Panama or Mexico here, instead of Egypt. Even though, after Sadat, it's, it does make sense in a way to do it. And he doesn't have grain. Well, he could have grains. Yeah. Mm, and I'm still in the trap as well. Sick. Um, we've already seen brush. Let's discard these two guys. And I think I'll hold on to the rest. This is a good card. So if I draw something bad, I do not. Then I kind of feel like this is a, the least waste of ops. And I'm out, finally. So now he'll decide if he wants to play the Middle East or Europe. I reckon he's got the Middle East. Yeah. And then I have to take back... Dom. Actually, I might as well go hungry. Set up that. Oh, but wait. Can you get three points somehow? No, I don't see how. OPEC is gone. Arms race is gone. Should be okay. bury you as well, even though he wouldn't be able to play it now, but it's good to know. Mm. Should be able to hang in there. It's Central and Nixon. <laughs> of course you do. That's four VPs. I get two from this. I could play voice right now. Then he only gets... This is also a coup. Now he can coup. And he could coup Panama. If I play that, we bring it down to 15. And then he gets four points to 19 kind of have to do voice now. If anything, I'll... I could also uh, remove him from Cuba. No. And he gets two points for OPEC. 
and then I score central for five. He's not going to play it now. But if I don't, if he, if he decides to coup, then I have to coup with... Yeah, that's no good. And then he can always take Opic later. <clears throat> but the coups are weak, so they could fizzle. Ah. Oh. I gotta say he's he's been fairly lucky so far in this game. I don't I don't feel bad about how I've played most of the time. Did my best to knocking him out of South America, didn't really work. Um got into Africa really well, but then that changed. But he spent a lot of effort in Africa, which I'm not sure uh was the right priority. Okay, that gives me an opportunity to get more points from, so I can get two points from that. Now he gets three points from OPEC, which means he wins. So I need to score two points from this. Yeah, I think so. And now if he if he goes into Egypt as well, then I have a shot at Nicaragua with CIA. Yeah. No, he he couldn't wait. Can he get two points from something? Don't think so. All right. So now, um, if I coup Nicaragua, I get Dom. But then if he coups Panama, then he gets. He gets two points from Central, which is enough. So I can't afford to wait. I have to... You play the China card, which probably means he doesn't have a four-op. So, but that's it's only if he coups, like, he has to roll really, really well on the coup and spend a four-op. Yeah, if he spends a four up and rolls a, rolls a six, I think he can uh, he can do it. He could just break Panama as well. That would stop Dom as well. Uh, and I really have to, I really have to coup. I have to coup with a, th yeah, I have to coup something big. Otherwise he gets, no, I can't afford to wait with this. Unfortunately. And now we could get a bunch of scorings back. Now I have to kill with this. Oh, which means I have to hold on to CIA. Fuck. That is really, really bad. Because if I coup, otherwise he gets two milops. Simple as that. So, what can I do with a 3-op? It's sold. It's not really going to work. So, I need to do something weak like Nigeria. Alright. Hmm. 
It's not a bad hand. Um, shuttle doesn't do much right now. Asia is a huge problem, of course. I mean, he can easily have something that gives him points. Should probably headline CIA because then I get an idea of what he's got. Or I can try and figure out what he's got because I should be able to do that. All the scorings uh, had been played. more difficult in turn seven to figure out what he has. So the red fours have been played. Oh, uh, hang on. Did he? Did we have five year plan with Europe there? Have we not seen Europe? Did he discard it somehow? No, that was earlier. So he's got Europe. Hopefully he'll have to play it. Mm. And he gets to see my headline as well, so I can't do defectors. And CIA doesn't help that much in the headline, although it does give me information, but Brush War gives me actual points, which would be nice. Um, we've seen all the cards that give him points. We have not seen OAS or Puppets, I don't think. Or colonial. He's got a fairly blue hand. We did see Omit, yes, we did. And he knows about CIA Arab. Israeli, I think. Independent Reds, Defectors, Shuttle, but not these. So he knows about four, five cards, which means I probably know at least five cards of his. Lone Gunman, he headlined that, didn't he? Yeah. Junta and ABM we saw, Missile Envy, Envy we saw. Hmm. What about recycled early cards? Oh, we have seen them all, I think. Yeah. Um, what about five year plan? Yeah, he should be holding that. Which is very bad news. But he also can't space two ops, and he's holding puppets and uh, colonials, so. Anything here that we haven't seen? He knows I have CIA. Well, he's going to have to play his whole hand if he wants to five year plan. He can't space any of this. I never evented Norad. Duck, he gave me... Did he give me Duck? Um, 
Oh, that's not right. Let's duck. Uh, the Arab Israeli war. Arab Israeli war. Oh, I think he's. Oh, no, I've got it. I've got it. Mm hmm. What about all those? Yeah, we saw salt and. How oh, All right. Uh, let's leave it at that. We have problems. So Asia is, and he can see my headline, so I can't. I mean, if I do CIA, then I get to see the rest of his hand. But then he could, if he then has a, yeah. Brush is nice. Where would I use it? Argentina, Brazil, maybe? Or Iran. Um... I mean, CA doesn't really do anything for me in the headline. There's no point in cooing because he can just then he he gets an actual coup in his. So yeah, um, let's try to get some points maybe. And if he redrew OPEC or a scoring card. He is fine. But right now it's only the Middle East that gives him the win. And South America, obviously. Far from, yeah. And if he plays Middle East, then I can brush Iran, so he won't do that. GG. Plus two? What do you mean? Oh, right, flower power. <laughs> yeah, I don't deserve to uh to stay in the game after that. But I do get a point if I win. No, he gets it first. All right, okay. Fair enough. Hmm. Yeah, it's not often that matters that much, uh, and it's easy to forget about flower power. I've made worse mistakes than that, I think, in in, uh, in uh, my past, but um, but it certainly was dumb. Um, how would I have gotten out of this without brush? I mean. Would have just had to try and hold on um, and see if I can survive. No way of getting into South America or Asia, really. So, um, could have played the China card, try and take South Korea. I mean, depending on what he had in his hand, it would have been... Um, would have been uh, possible to, like... Maybe get some points out of Asia. If I could flip uh, South Korea and then maybe voice or shuttle my way into domination. It's an option. But he could just he could just uh, go into Pakistan and make it very difficult for me. So not really going to cut it. I mean, it was very bad luck with South America. Both the fact that he got there. Uh, D-Style tends to, tends to do that, and then he got the scoring in turn 4 or 5? Yeah, 5. Um, and he got Junta, so... I had some good hands, though. I mean, it wasn't completely one-sided by any means. This one was, this was a good turn. I scared him. He had the ops for it, though. Yeah. Uh, first turn was pretty bad. I remember correctly.
I was pretty pleased by how I went into Africa. And he had to spend a lot of effort on that. Um, could have played better with the central scoring there. I think I could have gotten away with it if I had planned that a little bit better. But because I knew he had OPEC, that messed things up a little bit. Um, he played better than me, uh, I have to say, but I also feel like he had more luck in both games. But not, like, by a terrible amount. So, uh, well-deserved win there for Sergei. And I do not have to play any more games this season. Which, maybe... <laughs> I don't know. I am a little bit fed up with the Twilight Struggle at the moment, uh, so I... I don't mind too much. Uh, and then I'll ho I hope the uh, the convention will be fun. I know it will be. And I'm fairly sure it can't go any worse than my previous, the last year. Where I lost six out of eight games. Um, so hopefully that will, I don't know, get me back into the game. Um, I will probably not stream so much in the future. I'm going to try and see if I like not streaming for a bit. Uh, see if I can concentrate a bit better. Um, see if it makes a difference. Maybe maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. Um, so maybe for the Grand Slams this summer I won't stream anything. Um, and But maybe I'll get back to it. So, uh, thanks for watching this season. It was a fairly good season. Uh, despite this, uh, this short uh, playoff uh, section, but uh, but the season itself was pretty good, my best season so far. So shouldn't complain about that. Um, anyway, um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time, whenever that is.